Peranakan or Nyanya cuisine comes from the Peranakans, descendants of early Chinese migrants who settled in Penang, Malacca, Singapore and Indonesia intermarrying with local Malays and combines Chinese, Malay and other influences. The Old Malay word Nanya, also spelled Nyanya, a term of respect and affection for women of prominent social standing, part Madam and part Auntie, has come to refer to the cuisine of the Peranakans. Overview Nyanya cooking is the result of blending Chinese ingredients with various distinct spices and cooking techniques used by the Malay, Indonesian community. This gives rise to Peranakan interpretations of Malay, Indonesian food that is similarly tangy, aromatic, spicy and herbal. In other instances, the Peranakans have adopted Malay cuisine as part of their taste palate, such as Assam fish and beef rendang. Key ingredients include coconut milk, galangal, a subtle, mustard-scented rhizome similar to ginger, candlenuts as both a flavoring and thickening agent, laxa leaf, pandan leaves, pandanus amaryllifolius, balachan, tamarind juice, lemongrass, torch ginger bud, jicama, fragrant kaffir lime leaf, rice or egg noodles and sinkalik, a powerfully flavored, sour and salty shrimp-based condiment that is typically mixed with lime juice, chilies and shallots and eaten with rice, fried fish and other side dishes. There are regional variations in Nanya cooking. Dishes from the island of Penang in the northern part of peninsular Malaysia possess Thai influences, such as more liberal use of tamarind and other sour ingredients. Dishes from Singapore and Malacca show a greater Indonesian influence, such as the use of coconut milk. A classic example is laksa, a spicy noodle soup, which comes in two variants, the sour Assam laksa from Penang and the coconut milk-based laksa lemak from Singapore and the southern regions of peninsular Malaysia. The flavor of laksa and other nanya recipes is determined by the rempa, which in Malay means spices. The various combinations are pounded into a paste with pestle and mortar, with a very specific texture and density. It is said that a nanya can determine the culinary skill of a new daughter-in-law simply by listening to her preparing rempa with a mortar. Nanya recipes are handed down from one generation to the next, and because of the time-consuming preparation of these dishes, it is a cuisine that is often at its best when served at home. Laksa is a notable exception to this rule. Examples of Nanya specialities include otak otak, a popular blend of fish, coconut milk, chili paste, galangal, and herbs wrapped in a banana leaf, ayam bua kaluak, a distinctive dish combining chicken pieces with nuts from the pangium edul or kapiang tree to produce a rich sauce, and itek tim, a classic soup containing duck, tomatoes, green peppers, salted vegetables, and preserved sour plums simmered gently together. Nanya desserts include colorful cakes and sweet, sticky delicacies. List of Nanya dishes Achar – various pickled meats and vegetables like achar keet la honey lime calamansi, achar hu – fried fish, achar kiam hu – salt fish, achar timun – cucumber, achar awit – mixed vegetables. Assam laksa, Mandarin, Yasan la, considered one of Penang's three signature dishes. Assam laksa consists of a bowl of translucent al dente white rice noodles served in a spicy soup made of fish, usually mackerel, tamarind, both Assam Jawa and Assam Gelujor, and Don Kesem. Toppings differ considerably, and may include onion, mint, chopped torch ginger flour, and slices of pineapple and cucumber. A dollop of pungent, viscous sweet fermented shrimp paste, pettis udang or hei ko, is usually served on the side. Ayam bua kaluak, a chicken stew cooked with the nuts from the kapiyang tree, pangium edul, a mangrove tree that grows in Malaysia and Indonesia. For this recipe, the contents of the bua kaluak is dug out and sautéed with aromatics and seasonings, before it is stuffed back into the nuts and braised with the chicken pieces. Ayam babi pangta, a stew of chicken or pork cooked with tauchu or salted fermented soy beans, and gula malaka. It is usually saltish sweet and can be substituted as a soup dish in Peranakan cuisine. Commonly use pork as this is a Peranakan version of Chinese braised pork belly. Babi asam, a pork stew cooked with tamarind juice. This dish is also popular within the Christian community. Chap chai, stir fried vegetables. The Nanya version of this Chinese Indonesian classic incorporates tauchu and dried shrimp. 
Chinchalic, a distinctly Malaccan condiment made of fermented tiny shrimp, udang garagao, salt and rice. It is also a favored cooking ingredient used by the Christing Eurasian community of Malacca. Enchi keban, deep fried chicken pieces marinated in a paste of coconut milk and rempa, spices. Itik tim or kiam chai ak thng is a soup of duck, preserved mustard greens and cabbage flavored with nutmeg, Chinese mushrooms, tomatoes and peppercorns. Ju hu char is a dish made up mainly of shredded vegetables like turnip or jicama, carrot, and cabbage and fried together with thinly shredded dried cuttlefish. Kari kapitan, a Penang nanya take on the ubiquitous chicken curry. Kaffir lime leaves and coconut milk are among the key ingredients for this mild curry. Caribou bai hun is a salad dish consisting of rice vermicelli mixed with sambal belican, calamansi lime juice, and finely chopped herbs and spices. Other famous salad dishes are caribou bok ni, cloud ear fungus, tikus telinga, caribou k, chicken, caribou k kha, chicken feet, caribou timun, cucumber, caribou kobus, cabbage, caribou kakang botal, four angled bean, caribou bak pu, pork skin. Kiam chai bu is a mixture of leftovers from kiam chai ak thng, ju hu char, tu thng, and various other dishes. Bu literally means End. Laksa lamak is a type of laksa served in a rich coconut gravy, served with prawns, cockles, lime and a dollop of sambal belican. Lamb mee is long yellow noodles cooked in a rich gravy made from a stock of prawns and chicken. It is always served at birthdays to wish the birthday boy or girl a long life, and thus it is also known as birthday noodles. Lontong Kap Go Ma is a Peranakan Chinese Indonesian take on the traditional Indonesian dish. Masak Titik is a style of vegetable soup that makes liberal use of white peppercorns. One version uses watermelon rind as the main ingredient. Another makes use of green or semi-ripe papaya. Mi Siam dish of fried thin rice vermicelli with spicy gravy. Nasi kunyit is glutinous rice seasoned with turmeric powder, coconut milk and Assam gelujor. It is usually served with a chicken curry, ang ku kyu, and pink dyed hard boiled eggs as gifts in celebration of a child of friends and family turning one month old. Nyanya bak chong, nanya style zongzi made in a similar manner as a typical southern Chinese zongzi. However, the filling is typically minced pork with candied winter melon, ground roasted peanuts, and a spice mix. The blue butterfly pea flower is used to color the rice with a shade of blue, and pandan leaves are sometimes used as the wrapping instead. Otak Otak is a dish involving fish pieces wrapped in banana leaves. Two very different variations exist, one consists of a mixture of fish pieces and spice paste wrapped in banana leaves and char grilled. Pempek is a dish involving deep fried fish balls. There are many varieties of fish balls. Kapal salam has an egg inside the fish ball. At Blitun, the pempek is eaten with sambal and lime instead. Pempek palambing is very popular in Indonesia. The fish balls are eaten with a spicy black vinegar sauce, cucumber, and noodles. Perut ikan, a spicy stew, similar to Assam pitas in flavor profile, comprising mainly vegetables, herbs, and getting its distinctive taste mainly from fish bellies preserved in brine and don kadik. The wild pepper leaf is from the piper stylosum or the piper sarmentosum. A classic Penang nanya dish. Pai tea pai tea is a thin and crispy pastry tart shell filled with a spicy, sweet mixture of thinly sliced vegetables and prawns. Say back, a dish of pork loin, marinated overnight with herbs and spices, cooked over a slow fire and simmered to tenderness. Chuik is a Peranakan frog leg soup dish, popularly associated with the town of Jatiwangi and Perwadadi in Java, Indonesia. Tu thng, literally pig stomach soup, this dish requires a skilled cook to prepare and deodorize the ingredients using salt before cooking. Its main ingredients are pig stomach and white peppercorns. See also Chinese Indonesian cuisine Batawi cuisine References, <references>